the desert wildlife has to be pretty tough to survive and potholes like this are a perfect example. This is a temporary habitat. It only fills with water when it rains, but it is a full ecosystem. There are creatures in here like fairy shrimp or tadpole shrimp. Their entire life cycle is only about two weeks. And then they drop their eggs, which settle down into the sand at the bottom. So when the whole pothole dries up, it's just waiting for the next rain. Tardigrades do it too. These little microscopic creatures that swim around in the water, but when the water starts to evaporate, they react. They'll push all the liquid out of their bodies and shrink down to this dried up little husk that then can sit in the sand for decades if necessary, waiting for the conditions to get better again. So most of the time, this habitat isn't here. What's here is the potential for that future life. So if you see a depression like this when you're hiking, even when it's dry, look for things like the black staining around it to indicate it might hold water. If you see that, just walk around to protect this life that's waiting. One of the strangest things visitors might hear when they come to an area like Moab is that the dirt is alive. <laughs> These bumpy, dark patches are called biological soil crust, and it's an entire ecosystem, a whole community of microscopic creatures stabilizing the soil surface. Without this two to five centimeter layer, it would just be blowing sand, and plants can't really survive in that, and the animals need the plants to survive. So this soil crust is absolutely essential to have a fully functioning ecosystem out here. And if you get to see this, take the opportunity to look at it up close. It's pretty incredible. You can see the little fibers sometimes that are really holding the structure together. It takes over a hundred years to establish a community like this. It only takes a second of a footprint to destroy that, but you could choose to walk past it and preserve this really fragile environment that is part of the greater ecosystem of the desert. There's no place in America that is like this. We want to make sure that we are preserving these parks for future generations. It's up to each and every one of us to personally be responsible for the conservation of these parks.